What's up you guys? Um, here's another update on what I did yesterday. Um, like I said before, I'm just gonna give you an update after I build something or got something going. So basically yesterday I built the bunk beds. Um, today I plan on finishing a couple more pieces on the bunk beds and then also I might start doing the wall um, for the toilet and the storage and everything else. But for now, let me show you what I did yesterday. Um, basically, here's the bunk bed. It, it looks pretty cool. I still have to add a post in here and another one in the back. And then that wall up to the ceiling, I'm gonna cover it up. So basically what I'll do, um, I bought some uh, black paint. So this is a uh, removable paint. So I'm thinking of painting the windows inside and then covering them up with insulation and plywood. Um, so yeah, um, that's kind of my plan. I'm gonna do that maybe in another video but for now I just went and picked this paint up and apparently it's for rims we'll give it a try and see how good it is on windows if not worst case I'll have to do tint in the back for all those windows that I'm gonna be covering so yeah uh, basically this is the bunk bed you got one at the bottom one on top uh, pretty simple I just use one of these brackets and uh, one at the bottom as well and then got a piece of 2x4 um, the frame for the bed is out of 2x4s and then I used 2x2s for the mattress to go on top so pretty simple and easy um, like I mentioned before I do have to add in another 2x4 here for structural purposes and then this will be covered up and it'll be a wall same with the back one there so that's going to be a wall dividing the back bedroom from like the hallway and the bunk beds here so um yeah like i said i'm gonna start today on dividing these walls here and i will give you an update on that as well so we'll see how it goes I pretty much got nothing to do today. It's pretty cloudy outside and it's not the best weather. Um, but it's good weather to work on the bus, I guess, because it's, it's pretty warm in here. So, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so we got some paint on the windows. As uh, stated previously, I am going to black out some of the windows where the bunk beds and the queen bed is going to be. So let me just show you how that turned out. These three are still drying up. And uh, we used, it's kind of like a plastic dip paint. So here's the finished one that's already dried up. Look how nice and matte this looks. So basically, I'm going to put some um, hard foam insulation over top and then we're going to cover this whole window um, or all these windows up with um, insulation and then plywood over top and that plywood is going to be painted so we're going to have a nice flat wall for the bedrooms and the bunk bed. Um, so yeah, and also on the same time, I've been working on framing, um, the toilet is going to be right here, um, utility room will be in there, and then I still have to frame the shower, which is going to be there where the emergency window is, but basically, for now, I'll just have to wait, um, because I need to get the shower base and then build the wall based off that right so 
yeah and i think that's all i'm gonna be doing for today uh maybe finish touching up the windows over there and uh call it a day it's still nice and sunny now sun came out actually pretty windy but not bad but yeah let me know what you think of the painted windows look how nice they look and then they look even better from the outside actually let me just go and show you from the outside how it looks what's up dude see they look nice and blacked out compared to these so these are normal ones and then these are the blacked out windows which look really good so anyways stay tuned for the next video